And here's the funny thing. I'll say this honestly. You know, I talk about sellouts and people giving up their culture. But this is only a matter of opinion, really. Because I, at times, not only was I here, like saying, um, you know, I sold a million records one year. You know, I don't know, any of these years. Uh, I, don't know, uh, I got next. 1987. 1997, I got next. Sold a million copies of I Got Next. Okay, I was here. Now, I am able to come down to this level. But the people here can't come up to this level. Exactly. The gods can come down yeah. Yeah. But the average human can't go up. This is the trick. So I come down, and when I come down, I suffer down here. I suffer down here. And I do. I ain't even front. I don't like being down here. But every once in a while, I do have to come down here. And here's why. It's usually not for myself, and this is just another piece, smaller piece. It's not for me. Most of the time, it's for my family yeah. or for other people that I may respect or have some loyalty to, some admiration. That's the only thing. My being never says, I need to be down here. <laughs> my being never says that. But the fact that I love my kids, uh, the fact that I may want... <laughs> Uh, something material. Even in the spirit world, I may say, no, I'm, uh, I want the new Range Rover. Yeah. I think I can have it. I can have anything I want in this consciousness. So let's stop playing games with it. Test it to see if it's true. Most spiritual people never test their spiritual abilities. They live in a universal mind, but never ask the universe for anything. <laughs> Never ask you for anything. They just live there. The universe is just there. You know, the universe is like a mirror. So it's like if you stand there, the universe stand there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the minute you go up, the universe instantly is going up. It's the second, it's like a mirror. Anything you do in a mirror is instant. Same thing with the universe. Anything you do in the universe, it is instantly doing it to you. So here, I can be here all day, but the people that surround me may not be here. That's what self-sacrifice now. Come on now. Now we're into Christianity. Because we're going to the Christian center. You know, cross is an acronym. Cross. Constant reminder of self-sacrifice. The cross. Now you got to bear the cross. That's when you jump down here. Down here. All the way down to here. This is painful here. It's what you got to do to maintain celebrity? This is painful. But if you come from up here, you have a place to escape to. You even have protection down here. Because you're never going to go past the collective consciousness of the people. That's your virtue. This is where you live. So the minute they start talking about, listen, we have a thong we need you to put on. You immediately. This is a I'm not going to imagine the person that is not resting on this. They get told down here, I got a bozo the clown suit I want you to put on and parade in front of the TV. It's bozo the rapping clown. And because you want celebrity. There you go. Bing! You go. You have no protection from the culture. Nope. No virtues nope. from the collective nope. consciousness. Nope. No, nope. no ancestors. Nothing. nothing. Now, that's not a person that you would look down on and say, "Oh, you evil hip hop." You suck. <laughs> <laughs> this person is trapped in this This is word. Look at this. They, this is not a person to look down on or to judge and say, "Oh, their their music is whack. It's just destroying hip hop." No, it's not. Hip hop's right here. <laughs> Hip hop is never going to be destroyed. They're yeah, like the army guys. Mm. Speak that. Speak that. You, you like the army stole, guys. You just stole the okay. army guys. They don't want to be in oh. Afghanistan, no. or Iran. Yeah. Yeah. They but, signed the war. but they yeah. signed the contract. They signed the contract. They signed the contract. Like the army guys. 
like the army guys, the soldiers that ain't there to kill Iraqis, they signed a contract. They were trying to get some, I'm not trying to shake my ass on TV. I'm not trying to call women bitches and hoes. I'm not trying to be a crackhead. <clears throat> but I signed a contract which says that in order to get celebrity, in order to be famous, I got to kind of just do it one time. That's a choice. Or else we will sue you. That's a choice, though. But it is. It's a choice. Wait, wait, it's only a choice for the one up here. Or else they will sue True. You. Well, if you start that, it's, it's a choice. You have a choice. Look at your choices. Well, yeah. You're you selling your soul. It's a choice. Yeah, so. Okay. This is You key. can't blame that shit on nobody. Yeah, well, here's the point, though. Some of us are born in prison. No, but I'm saying if you start over on top. No, 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 no. This is a you already here. Let's, and, and what you're saying is accurate because look at the choices you have. Exactly. See, you have a choice. Obviously, you've heard principles. You've heard some sort of virtue. You you are standing for something. These are your choices. Go against that for the you know you have a choice. But what if you're born? You know, your grandmother was a stripper. True. Your mother was a stripper. Your father was a crackhead. True. Yeah. That is you. True. I respect that. I don't have no reference, which is really a poor excuse still. I'm just being super sensitive mm -hmm. to the person that may be trapped in a situation. But really, real, real, real talk, you're correct. You always have a choice. Mm -hmm. You always have a choice. Step out. Just step, you have a choice. Okay? So I'm not negating that. That's the truth. Close. Those that can understand this first half of what we discussed about hip hop, what it means to be a hip hop scholar, to be it all the time, to be able to be subjective with your culture, not objective with your culture, to be able to not think like a colonizer, don't try to kill the information, capture the information, this kind of thing, try to be the information. Try to understand what you know from an empathetic point of view, not just I know it, but feel it. This is what the scholarship is all about. We brought, we came over this briefly, collected press. I really want to get into what you started with spirituality. I didn't get into it actually here. Uh, maybe we could breeze over in, in, in Q&A. But uh, we go back over this again uh, to discuss the spiritual nature of hip-hop. We really only got... Uh, into maybe the philosophical and cultural part. When I say things like hip-hop is not material, uh, this is more philosophical, it's true. Uh, hip-hop doesn't appear anywhere in the physical world, but there's deeper parts to go into that. Like, if it doesn't appear in the physical world, then where is it? Because we all feel it, we all know it, we all operate in it. So what dimension are we really operating in if hip-hop is not in three-dimensional space? If it's not here, then where are we as hip-hopers really? 